thinking in the market, in the general market, uh, changes very fast. And if we go back to 2020 and that crazy run from when COVID started to when it crashed, let's think about how, what kind of companies were performing very well. Amazon, Zoom, right? And I will never forget this. Buy Amazon because it's a, it's a COVID, COVID play. People are going to stay home and they're going to be ordering things online. Then two days later, they said, buy Amazon because people are going to stay at home and order things online. A week later, buy Amazon because people are going to stay at home and order things online. And at that point, I was like, okay, hold on a second. You already told me this a hundred times. Don't you think this is already priced into the stock? The same thing with Netflix. By Netflix, people are going to be staying at home and watching Netflix. By Netflix, people are going to be staying at home and watching Netflix. Same message over and over and over. Same thing with Zoom. Buy Zoom because people are going to be staying at home, not flying and doing conference calls. Buy Zoom. It's, it's kind of like in the past, I gave an example of uh, you going to a buy house and the seller, uh, the price is 100,000. And then the seller says, well, but this house has a pool. Okay, I'll give you 110. Five minutes later, but the, the, the house has a pool. 10 minutes later, but the house has a pool. It's like, okay, are you, am I supposed to pay you a million dollars for the house because you told me that it has a pool at 50 times? Like, seriously, just because you say that the house has a pool doesn't make the house more or less valuable, okay? But that was, that was uh, uh, the mentality, right? And it didn't matter how much uh, common sense you try to tell people that was it. And you see, today, it's completely opposite. Today, it's uh, don't buy, don't buy, I don't know, I'm not going to say specific stocks. Don't buy something because the Fed is raising interest rates. Uh, don't buy something because the Fed is raising interest rates. Uh, don't buy something because the Fed is raising interest rates. Well, hold on a second. You already told me this. 500 times, 500 times. Oh, but you know what? I didn't tell you that don't buy something because there's a recession. Uh, don't buy something because there's a risk of recession. It's like, okay, you already told me this a hundred times. Just because you told me a hundred times to buy Amazon because people are going to stay at home and be buying things does not make Amazon value unlimited does not make the price unlimited okay does not make netflix worth unlimited amount of money just because it's COVID and people are going to be staying at home okay there's limits now the same thing goes the other way just because the fed is raising interest rates just because everybody is talking about recession every day all day long non-stop doesn't mean that assets and businesses are worthless doesn't mean that um, everything should be going down five ten percent every day just because the fed is raising interest rates okay i live in a house and that house is not worth zero it's not worth negative just because the fed is raising interest rates why because things and businesses have intrinsic values. Now, why didn't I buy Amazon, Zoom, or Netflix when everybody was staying home and was going to be using Netflix or Amazon? I didn't buy it, not because I was worried about the Fed, not because I was worried about the recession. I didn't buy it because the price versus value wasn't there for me. What I was getting back uh, in value, in relation to what I was going to be paying for these things, 
I didn't like it, so I didn't buy it. I wasn't getting enough value for the money that I was spending. It's simple as that. Instead, I was buying things that I felt that I was getting more value than what I was spending, okay? It was simple as that. I buy things because they have intrinsic value. Now, I also didn't buy Dogecoin. Yeah, why did why didn't I buy Dogecoin when when Elon Musk was supporting and pumping Dogecoin? Because it's a joke. It was started as a joke. It doesn't have any value, okay? Just because Elon tweets or tweeted about Dogecoin, you know, on Twitter doesn't give it any more value. So that's why I didn't buy it, okay? I buy things when they are useful, okay? I buy Voxter because of because of this. I buy Secure because of this. I buy Oracle because it has copper, okay? I'm here now, somewhere in the world, I'm not gonna tell you where I am because then you start guessing what company uh, I'm, I'm looking at, but I'm here because I see an incredible opportunity, okay? I see that I see a company that's solving a major problem and then that problem is here or that problem needs to be solved where there is recession, whether the interest rates are 3%, 4%, 5%, whether uh, the, there is Fed put or there isn't Fed put, that problem needs to be solved and the company is solving it and it has the best solution out of everybody in the world. And that's why I'm here, because I see value. Whatever money I will spend buying the stock, I believe that I'm going to be getting more money, more value back multiples. That's why I'm here. And if you rely on buying things only when you have a Fed behind you, well, then maybe you should rethink your strategy a little bit. Uh, I'm just looking here at my notes. Uh, so yeah, so I buy value no matter what, okay? Uh, if I'm getting more for my money than I'm spending, then I am interested. I don't need the Fed to help me make this decision. I don't need the Fed to create liquidity for me, okay? Now, when the times are good and things are growing, just remember this, growth doesn't mean something has unlimited price and unlimited value. And the same thing is when there is recession or interest rates going up or whatever, doesn't mean that your assets and your businesses are worthless, okay? We have to breathe every day. We have to go to the store every day. We have to, uh, you know, have fuel every day. People have needs, okay? You don't go and stop shopping at a grocery store just because the Fed is raising interest rates or there is a recession, okay? So once again, during good times when there is Fed behind your back, there's lots of liquidity, does not mean assets have unlimited value. Doesn't mean also that Dogecoin ever has any value whether the fed is there or not dogecoin is worthless okay and when there is recession talk interest rates are going up does not mean that whatever you own is worthless pay attention to what you're paying for things and if they become a little bit cheaper well then you get a better deal but pay attention to value pay it value price is what you pay value is what you get stick to it and over the long periods of times you will be fine but if you if you buy worthless things you overpay for things just because everybody is happy and there is lots of liquidity well then you're going to have to pay the price for it but the difference is that the price that you will pay is a permanent price because your things will never go back to what, where they were because they never should have been there in the first place.